Hey, hey, everybody. So, uh, got good news. We got a star, the star fruit, carambola. We got two of them that popped up. More long gones. And this is my wife. She's our uh, tropical fruit teas. Jackfruit. Look at all that jackfruit. Ready to plant. So, uh, we're going to get on that today. And, uh, get these guys up on out. I've been using this same container sprout seeds in for seven seven months now. Um, <clears throat> haven't changed the dirt. I've actually threw like a look. There's, there's mushrooms growing in it. Just throwing whatever. Uh, keep it moist. That's the main thing. This one had a lid. That one's got one. These, I got saran wrap on. You know, it's moist in there. Um, our roselle. Now our roselle. Let me show y'all the roselle real quick too. My wife sprouted a bunch of roselle in one pot. Yeah, and she she did it all in a pot. So I used these peat pots. Transplanted them out right here and uh, this was a while ago, but they're still surviving. So that's real good. Uh, actually, let's check on our uh, Let's see that I think I see a Hold on Y'all remember this container so uh, The sweet potato Honestly, it's it can just go in the ground. I'll do that right now. So, I think all of this is coming up. There's no, no roots on this guy yet. The Cuban oregano. Can't see any of that. But, but check this out. Roots on the mint. Let me see. There we go. You can see the roots now. The roots on that mint's doing well. We're, uh, so let's see. The roots on those. But this guy, I think he even got bigger. Yeah, just make a little hole. Nothing perfect at all. That'll be alright. We'll see how that grows. Right next to the greenhouse. Now that. Yeah, you can see the roots right there. Mint's doing good. These guys, they don't look like they're dead, but like they might have been drowning. Took them back in there. Cause hey, you just need a couple sticks, man. Just something to push some roots out now back to the roselle um yeah it's all uh use these peat pots they got that tall still well actually standing pretty strong um these are starting to get their color some of them got it 
and that one back here. And uh, these were actually done before these, because this was just topsoil. And this I actually used some potting mix on this one. But uh, you see it's still doing fine with just topsoil. Roselle's easy. Easy enough to grow in toilet paper tubes. Yeah, we're about to put some of these out. But uh, no, the Roselle's doing great. And it's real easy to do. And uh, pretty much just throw a seed out there. It'll grow. Now my sugar cane, I learned this from a lead farmer 73. You just take the sticks. And we actually got this little container at Dollar Tree. So you stick them in water. And if you can see, there's new growth. Coming out of them. Yeah. Yeah, the bug is going to get on it. It's sugar cane. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting buds. Soon it'll have uh, roots. So I got two of them up there. And I got another one down here. See, and That guy just looks looks healthy right there. That not that's where the blade of grass is gonna come out. But I mean, it just looks good. Lead farmer seventy three. He uh he had mold on his and stuff. He's like, yeah, no, no, that's okay. It's sugar, which makes a lot of sense. It's sugar and water. <laughs> but uh. One more look at my wife's jackfruits before uh, they go in their pots. I mean, just look at them, man. They're all cracked open. Now, is it? Neat? Yeah. All right. If you don't plant the seeds, you can boil them. They'll, they'll, they taste like boiled peanuts. It's actually pretty good. But uh, let that sit there. We uh, we do both. <laughs> so I hope y'all have a nice day and uh, get back out in that garden.